A large storm almost two weeks ago left many parts of Iowa devastated, and when tragedy strikes, there are always good people eager to help. News 8 Now's Isabella Hulsizer spoke with a La Crosse resident who packed up his stuff and headed to Cedar Rapids to help with cleanup. Friday, I just said I would pack up my dad's chainsaw and my tent and just go. I didn't really have a plan. I didn't know exactly where I was going um, and just went for it. He jumped into his car and headed for Iowa. He says when he arrived in Cedar Rapids, he took the first exit into a neighborhood and started looking for a place to start. And just kind of started winding through a neighborhood and I was truthfully just shocked. I drove for about 10 minutes just stunned at the situation, weaving in and out of trees that were still in the road. Then eventually I landed as like almost a dead end because a tree was in the road. And I'm like, all right, I guess this is where I stopped. So he hopped out of his car and started cutting up the tree. The neighbor came out front and was chatting with me for a little bit and they said, well, dinner's ready. Fisher expected to just eat dinner with the family. They directed me back to the alley and the whole block all met together every evening for like a potluck dinner. They called themselves the Alley Cats. He says the Alley Cats were positive and supportive of each other. They knew that times were tough and that community was super important to them. Fisher continued to help the neighborhood clean up the damage for the rest of the weekend and the energy from the Alley Cats kept him going. I was just beat dead tired from running a chainsaw from quite literally nine in the morning until it was dark and I couldn't run it anymore. Fisher doesn't know anyone from Cedar Rapids. But he says heading out on a whim to help just felt right. I truly felt that that was the right thing to do. That's what I needed to do. And man, was I ever blessed for it. It was an incredible experience and a great time. Such a great time that he's headed back this weekend right, with nine that. more friends to continue the cleanup efforts. Of course, we're going to go meet up with our lovely family, the Alley Cats, at some point. In La Crosse, Isabella Holsizer, News 8 Now. And Fisher says the devastation in Cedar Rapids is the most shocking he's ever seen. And the Alley Cats just got their power back onto their homes after 12 days without it. He did leave early this afternoon with the same intention as last weekend to go help out and make some friends.